because I'm at one of my favorite bits, uh, but I need to update my stream info. Because uh, apparently that is something you are meant to do. Do this every time you uh, change games or anything. Okay. Sweet. So now if we go on there, lovely. That's all done. The, uh, the guys that come in the raid from Cyanergy, thank you for sticking around. It's uh, been pretty cool. I know you didn't really see me do too much of the demo. I don't really want to play too much of it. And um, it's only got like a five hour duration, so I didn't really want to do too much anyway. But uh, we are playing Grandia. If any of you have seen this game, you know it's amazing. And if you haven't, the game's amazing. Uh, so I hope you enjoy. It's just a chill play. I play this game a lot, uh, but we're just chilling out a bit today. Uh, from now on, you two stay in this room after work. Come in. Wait. From now on, you two stay in this room after work. Come back here. Okay. Now off today. Yes, I understand. Okay. I was reading that very stupidly. So I am doing my, what am I doing? I have to do all of the the deck cleaning and work and all that shit. Apprentices Justin and Sue come into work without being called. You two certainly have promise. I bet you already know, but newbies always start by swapping the deck. Ready? I'm going to have you wax every nook and cranny of the entire deck. When you're ready, come to me. So I was a passenger, but because my little companion, Sue, she tried to stow away on the boat, I now have to work. Um, I remember how to do it. I think mean, you just got to get the power up. There you go, but you don't want to go too high, because if you actually go too high, you get tired. You don't really get anything for beating it in a certain time. I think it's just a fun mini game. But uh, either way, we usually will swab the deck before Sue even finishes one line. Run, 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 run. It's, I mean, it's a fun little game, but it's really pointless. And I suppose it would be nice if you could skip it, but. It's part of the uh, story at the moment, so we've got to get it done. Sweet. There we go. That's how we did it today. Six viewers. Wow, it's pretty good today. I've been slacking a little bit. I've only had like three or four the last couple of days. Death is good. Finally, right, can we skip this now? Are we done? Thank you. Alright, I guess you did get finished, but do a little better next time. Ooh, this is pretty hard work. Do we gotta do this every day? Cleaning is part of training. Well, enough for today. Go back to your quarters and rest. So basically, we gotta do that a couple days. Uh, this is the captain's room. Don't want to go in there. As, like, a punishment. Actually, uh, 
Before I do that, I to come here because I think you can talk to a lot of these people now. Um, I do have... These guys, look, they got like solid gold bath, toilet, solid gold bed. The sofa is even solid gold. Um, actually, I don't think you get anything coming down this way. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it's been a little while. I'll read this. You, the porter, the bathtub in this cabin is filthy. Be so good as to clean it. Uh, yes, ma'am, right away. Oh, I'm so glad I'd just die. My room is spotless. I do thing. I do like things tidy, but dying is a bit much. This is a really nice cabin. This should be a relaxing trip. Wow, it really is incredible. Wonder how much it costs to stay here. Hmm. For what it costs to stay here, ten people could stay in second class. Well, someone is a big-headed asshole. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't get anything from here. So I'm just gonna skip all the lame chat that we don't need to do. We just get on the game. Because all the fun bits are coming up. You did all your work today. Great. You look tired though. Get lots of sleep tonight. Ouch. Ow. My body aches all over. Your muscles are just sore, Sue. You'll get used to it. I'll do more than my share of work today. Really, you shouldn't have to because it's her fault that we have to do this in the first place. I mean, they should have just threw her overboard. You too, what about work? Do you want to give it a rest today? Uh, I'll finish working today. Oh well, you get some rest today. You've got some hard work tomorrow. Wait, I didn't, I didn't do my work. I lied. Wait, can you actually just... Well, there's another day of hard work, so go. Yes sir, we're off. Oh, okay. I, d I don't know what happened. So let's go. Right, so we gotta do this shit again. Come on. Speed, 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 speed. Go, 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 go. Stand still and just drop. You don't want to do that. That's bad. Right. Do I have to wait for Sue? I really don't want to. Ah, good. Hey, pretty good job there. At this rate, by the time we arrive, you guys will be pros at cleaning. Uh, even though we're apprentices, do we have to clean all the time? Give us a more important job. Hmm. Keep this up and I'll think about it. Here's 25G. Good job. Damn. The big bucks. Not really. Good, the lens is squeaky clean so the light will shine far. Say, what do you use that huge light for? Don't you know even that? For signals, sailors and adventurers use lights to signal each other. Our guest will be on board soon, so we have to signal to send out a boat. A guest? In the middle of the ocean? Of course.
course. Don't look surprised. Our guest is the greatest adventurer in the new palm. An adventurer? There are a few desert islands in these parts. Our guest has been searching for old treasure there. We're getting ready for the guests starting early in the morning tomorrow, so don't sleep late. Cool, the greatest adventurer in New Palm. Some big muscle man. A big spoopy pirate lad. Yes. According to the stream now, the bit that is good. The stream is on excellent, so we're okay. I'm happy with that. Right. Hey Sue, what do you think the greatest adventurer in New Palm is like? I think he might be a giant man with a shaggy beard and bulging muscles. Quite like me. Uh, Mumble Mumble, yeah, yeah, he's got to have about five arms, Mumble Mumble. Uh, I guess she's half asleep. Wonder what I'll learn at the Adventurers Society. How to disarm traps, tips for fighting monsters. Rats can't get to sleep tonight. Although he yawns and falls straight to sleep. Justin, hey Justin, get up or get chewed out. Hey Justin. Mm, just a little more, let me just count to ten. Don't give me that. Didn't you say not to sleep late because the adventurer is coming? What are you doing, Sue? Get going or I'll leave you behind. Ah, oh, I was waiting for you. Here he is. The huge lad. Not this guy. But uh, the adventurer. That's silly. He looks like a fool. I love how he gets a giant smile on his face though when he does it. Look at that. Hey there, what are you doing? Oh, this? This is the greeting of cool sailors and adventurers. You gotta learn it to be full-fledged. You don't say. I've gotta master it too. No, no, you scoop your hand up like this. But like this? Hmm, cool. Oh, brother, now you look like a fool. Yes! Hey, you're pretty good at it. Uh, yeah, because I'm fucking amazing. I'm not really. I'm, I'm kind of cool. Not me. I mean, Justin. You guys are too late. Look, the greatest adventurer in New Palm is over there. You want to go say hello. With lots of treasure chests. And it sounds like someone being whipped. <laughs> I'm home. You all haven't changed a bit. Yo, yo there. Welcome home, Fina. Damn, the adventure is a lady. Been? <laughs> Everyone thought I'm it was a big, great. huge lad. And the treasure, as you can see, it's just perfect. Fina, you've outdone yourself again. I'm so happy to see your smiling face. Nice mustache. Long time no see, Captain. You look well too. Mina, I thought I'd never see the golden legacy of the legendary pirate warren with my own two eyes. <laughs> Isn't it great? To tell the truth, I had a bit of trouble. It was one trap after another. Whoever set them sure had a bad attitude. They might catch some bumbling adventurer, but they can't catch me. At the very end, though, I thought I was done for. When I had these giant boulders on my tail, but I quickly found a cave in the side and whoa, jumped whoa. in. Whoa, hang on. Let's not waste a good story. Let's go sit down. You can take your time and tell me about your adventure down below. I'll have the men carry your treasure. Okay, Captain. Can you guys take care of this stuff? Yeah, sure thing. Yeah, catch up with you later. Simps. They're all simps. Ah, uh, who are you two? Never seen you before. Um, well, I I'm just... Wow, a girl? The greatest adventurer in the new world is a girl? That is so cool. And she's pretty too, right, Justin? Hee <laughs> hee, thank you. Captain, will you introduce us? 
Of course, Fina. This is our apprentice sailors, Justin and Sue, here. Hmm. My name's Fina. Pleased to meet you. Say, Justin, let's give her the high five green. Oh, that's right. We just practiced it. Uh, I'm Justin. Pleased to meet you. Ah ha ha ha. Didn't you know that greeting is only for when you're full-fledged? Okay, for now, we shake hands. Let's save the high five for when you're a full-fledged sailor. Come, let's go, Fina. Don't be slacking off, eh, Justin? You too. Good luck on your shipwork. We shall... well, shall we go, Captain? How rude. Disgusting. Ugh, oh, she treated me like a kid. But she's so cool, I'd like to be like her. The greatest adventure in the new world. She was pretty cute. Damn, that's a lot of deck. Ugh, oh, no fun at all. Cleaning again today. Don't give me that. Better than being tossed overboard, no? It's your fault. Hey, it's already clean. Who cleaned the decks for us? Hey, you two, it's about time. You'll never be a full-fledged sailor if you can't get up on time. Good morning, Justin and Sue. Looks like a hot one today. Ah, uh, you remembered our names. I'm shocked. First rate of intro needs an excellent memory. Or, I'd like to say so. I heard about you from the captain, so I thought I'd talk to you. I thought I'd talk to you while swabbing the deck, but you took so long to get here. At this rate, you've got a long way to go, full-fledged sailor. Jeez, you're pretty tough. Damn, let me take a breath. But I'm an adventurer, so that's okay with me. An adventurer? Hang on there. The captain said you were apprentice sailors. That's just my disguise. I've got a good cover story. You know, Sue just... No, I'll tell her. The problem was that Justin here was trying to ditch me. To ditch you? Now, listen, Fina, Justin here is so terrible. Yeah, she, she threw me under the bus. And that's it. Hey, I'm a great adventurer, right? Right. You see how it was all Justin's fault, right? Ha 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 ha. I can see that you two are really good friends. Ha ha ha, you two are just too funny. I haven't li liked this in ages. Say, Fina, tell us something about you. No fair just talking about us. Hmm, you're right. So, what would you like to know? Uh, tell us about your adventures. Hmm, it's hard to say in just a few words. Well, we've got plenty of time before we get to New Palm, so I'll tell you a little each day. That means we'll be swabbing the deck for a while too. Ugh, apprentice sailors have it rough. Haha, <laughs> you'll be okay, I'll help too. It'll be fun if we all do it. Yeah, thank you, Fina. Uh, how do I start exploring the new world? So Justin, you want to be the greatest adventurer in the world. We're going to the Adventure Society in New Palm. Fina, are you a member too? Um, well, of course I'm a member. Great, I'll become a member too. I'll be an even better adventurer. I guess so. I'll go with you on your adventure. That sounds like fun. Uh, do you live in New Palm? Where do I live? I do live near New Palm. I live alone. It's a carefree life. Alone? You're tough, Fina. Don't you get lonely? Uh, both my parents died long ago. I used to live with my big sister, but not anymore. Wow, living alone in the new world. Fina, that's so cool. I don't like that wind. Suddenly the seagulls. I'm going to see the captain. Justin and Sue, you ought to return to your quarters. See ya. She is. She was laughing so happily, suddenly so serious. What's wrong? Say, Justin, look. Oh, say, look, Justin, suddenly there are no seagulls at all. You're right. 
I think something interesting is gonna happen. Don't worry, Pappy, I'm back. Oh, damn. Good, I was waiting for you to return. Doug, you popped in right at the good time. Right at the good time, my man. Uh, Captain. What, what is this? I deleted these. Stupid emails. Fake hacker emails. Uh, Captain, a girl's come up and the sea's rough. Strange clouds are approaching too. This is trouble. I'll assemble the men. But not only that, I have a bad premonition. Pina, just what's happening? Is something wrong? Nothing to worry about, Justin and Sue. Go back to your quarters and rest. Justin, let's go back to our quarters. Looks like some big trouble. Captain, we have to change course by as much as we can. Quickly assemble the men. But Fina, that bad premonition of yours, could it be the legendary ghost ship? No, not that ship again. Cut that out. That's just superstition. Ghost ship? Tell me about it too. Justin, didn't you hear I told you to go rest in your quarters? No fair, can't we stay just a little? This is not a child's game of adventurer. Be good and do as I say. Bro, we're like the same age. Miss Fina, oh, oh my gosh. Come on deck right away. Wait, what did he say? He's come, come on, no. The big smile on his face for a ghost ship. Bro, Justin loves his adventures. This is a real adventure now. Captain, tell the men to make sure they act calm. The passengers will panic. I mean, the fucking captain's lost his mind. Look at that. I can't stand it. If this is really the ghost ship, we're doomed. Yeah, exactly. Come on the dick. Well, I was going to change deck to dick. But, you know, hey, this is 18 plus stream. It sounded like he was saying, come on my dick. But, you know. Don't clip that, either. <laughs> Don't you do it. Wait, Justin. Look at that! Holy shit, bro! Cutscenes! It's a real fucking ghost ship. Oh, I love this part of the game. It's so good. This is where the game starts. Like, the actual fun bit of the game starts right here, boys and ladies. If there are ladies around. Uh, it really has the mood down. I've decided my first great adventure will be on the ghost ship. How hopeless. Isn't there a single real man at the sea on this ship? Hey, that's Fina's voice. Over there, Justin. What we know for sure right now is, unless we do something about that mystery ship, we won't make it to Alencia alive. At this rate, it involves not only the sailors, but the passengers too. Show them a sailor's grit and guts. Come on, Captain, instruct your men. Oh no, we're done for. A ghost ship has really appeared. We're all going to die. That's just the ship, right? The ghost ship is just a superstition. Anyway, we have to fix the ship. You see, ever since that ship appeared, our ship can't move, even with the engine at full speed. Ugh, pull yourself together. we got to work together or we'll all drown. But Fina, what can we do? We're up against a ghost ship. We're just sailors, right? If the ship doesn't move, we can't do anything. Don't act so hopeless. Aren't you men of the sea? I'll solve the mystery of that ship. So who will go with me to board the ship? Oh, they say ship so much. Isn't there even one brave man? Yeah, boy, I'm right here. Let's get... I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to her. I want to talk to the grill. Don't worry, Fina. We'll go with you. Justin? Now look, you guys. Even these little kids are showing some bravery. Is there no brave man among you who will go with me? 
I told you I'll go with you on the ship. I'll bust up any ghost. Yo, this guy can come play Phasmophobia with me. Ghosts, you don't get it. Listen up, Justin. If you believe in ghosts, you'll never become an adventurer. Justin and Sue, you just wait on this ship. Uh, if I don't go, who will go? I'm worried about you, Fiona. No fair, hogging all the adventure. That's definitely what Justin would say. It finally became a real adventure. No fair that you get to do all the fun things alone. Justin, you're thinking too simply. Adventure isn't child's play. You could even lose your life. Think like that, and a real adventure would be too dangerous. You don't have enough experience. I'm worried about you, Fina. How can I let a girl go alone on that dangerous ship? Oh, shit. A girl? How rude. I'm a pro adventurer. I'm not gonna lie, Justin. This is 2020. You can't be saying shit like that. I don't care if you are, like, 14. I'm not so clueless that an amateur like you needs to worry about me. If I don't go, who will go? I finally get to go on something like an adventure. I'm an adventurer too. You know the situation, don't you? There's no proof that you'll be any help at all, Justin. That ship won't let me bring along someone who will get in the way. My intuition tells me so. Ah, oh, I can't stand it. I'll do it myself. Let's go, Sue. Ha, uh, but... Ah, oh, what do I do? Ready to cross to the ghost ship, just as you said, Fina. No time to be fooling around. Okay, okay, Justin, let's go together. But if you get in the way, even a little, promise to come back right away, okay? Alright, leave. Alright, of course, just leave it to me. Come, let's stop fooling around and go, Justin, Sue. Sweet! Right, first thing I want to do is make sure Fina has the knife. Uh, because she only learns two knife skills, so I'm probably going to just push that first. And now we actually have a third little minion in our team. One guy, two girls. What's the count? Are you chickening out, Justin? Ghosts are just fantastic stories. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not afraid of a shit like this. But Justin, how do we get down? How do we get down? We get down like this. Oh, that Justin. Justin, wait. Yeah, well, this is such a thrill. Don't get too excited, Justin. Who knows what will happen? Sorry, sorry. My adventurous blood is calling. I can't help it. Hee hee hee. Alright, let's go. We gotta jump in the hole. I think we can go down from here. I'll go first, so you two follow me. Shh. Wow, pitch black. Can't see a thing. You two, no carelessness. Watch your feet. I could do this in my sleep. First rate adventurer, no problem. Dot 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 question mark. What's this? It's soft and warm and... Justin, you pervert! Oof. Your boy getting handsy. Hmm, Justin, what do you think you're doing? Ouch, it's your fault stopping suddenly when you're in front. Oh, just forget it. Get in there, my son. Justin, your face is so red. Hey. Hey. You know... Oh, that's creepy. Creepy giggling. I mean, <laughs> if you can, why not? Oh, sorry, it was dark and you suddenly stopped in front of me. Yeah, I know, there are ghosts around. Really. Okay, so. Let's pick up all the shit. Um, the only hard bit about this place is it's kind of hard to see where you're going. But now we got Fina on our team and Fina actually has fire magic. 
uh, which is pretty much super effective against anything on here, so we're just gonna level it up because she's almost This'll teach you. to like the level one of the level two spells. Imagine this. We're just gonna grind the fire XP quick. What a cinch! Because uh, the boss of this area is not hard, but he can give you a hard time. Look at this. Fina sat at 28 strength, Sue's at 25, and Justin's still got 18. <laughs> Talk about that male masculinity. He's the little weak boy. Oh, okay. See you anyway. Uh, I think we can go down here. I don't want to go down though. Just to make sure I'm picking everything up. It's a little hard to see. <laughs> Ghostoid. Uh, you're about to get ghost. Hey, hey, Grum. Not Glum today, Grum. I'm not Glum ever. I'm usually. Amazing every day. Having a great day. There is no work today, so we're having a good time. How are you, mate? How was your stream? You playing some sort of Star Wars game? Not really my thing. Never been a fan of Star Wars. Exclamation mark lurk. Nice. You do what you want to do, man. Good man, just taking a break. Yeah, nice. Cool, cool. We all need a break. Alright, let's jump down here. Squidgies. Look, these things right here are the squidgies. Kind of like the smudgies in Phasmophobia. Squidgy. Can you come down here? Thank you. Is this gonna be an ambush? Yeah. It's because you landed on my head. There's no way I can get to you else. Hey, don't even think about it. Uh, is this gonna count on me? Probably. Yes. Um, a sea jelly. Get him. I get the guy in the middle and it should hit all three of them. Get the fuck to the boy. You, yeah. Defending. So. Nice. 15 experience. It's better than like three that we were getting in the other zones. There's a ghost here. I'm gonna try and do all the battles on this zone. The zone is very short, so it won't take very long, and they will die very easily. But uh, they're worth good XP, so I'm just gonna like rush them. Here goes. game. Uh, spam. Click on the button. The treasure room. Everything's made of geld. Nice, nice. Uh, up 
doors are locked. But there is some meat. Look out, Justin! Yo! Your boy almost got sliced. Justin, are you alright? Are you hurt? Incredible, that was cool, Fina. But Justin, you look really uncool. Oh, come on. I was just a little careless. Alright, I'm just gonna say this, right? It doesn't matter if it's a fancy, like, restaurant or anything, or a nasty old ghost ship. If you see a big piece of meat just sat there like that, you don't go and pick it up. You don't know what's been on that thing. Why would you do that? You're right, little cat. You're having a chill day. A good day. Go up, yeah. Why not? You know why not, Doug? Because it's dangerous. You don't just go around grabbing meat. <laughs> <You know? laughs> That's a no-no. If it was a lady's meat, you'd get thrown in prison. Ghosts are worth 4 XP each. It's not too bad. Uh, wind charm. Actually, I might... I might give that to Sue, actually. Because the next boss uses a lot of wind magic. Actually, I will swap that as well. With... Justin, so he's got extra damage. She can have the actuary. If I could just, what am I doing? There's a trade button here, I can literally do that. Some of Fina's gear is really good, and you can like spread it out. It's like, there you go. So you can get a bit more defense. Well Fina doesn't really lose much. So her defense is so high anyway. Justin will need the move, so we can stable that. So 37, 38, 47. Okay. Huh. There are little ghosts laughing at me. No, I want to kill the, the Omanite thing. Oma star. Look at it, it's disgusting. Be gone. I wasn't talking to you, cat. Because these have lots of defense, so you can actually just spam no more attacks on them. You get quite a bit of XP. Movement anyway. Never mind. Here goes. Nice, that's a counter as well. Beautiful. So yeah, go on. Do a crit on him. Yo. Top 
around this way. Get ambushed by this chap. Oh no, no I got initiative. Oh, that's weird. He actually landed on me. Some fire XP. Come on. Hit more than one. That'd be nice. Damn. Fuck, I missed. Sue, what are you doing? Alright, this is a risk. Okay, I didn't cancel, so it's okay. Ghost here. Come on. No. Okay. This lad's trying to. Okay, yeah, you got me. Ugh. This is the thing with having too many party members. Ah, but it will be easy. Not a problem. I can smash them easily. Don't hit me. There you go. So that will be two hits. Nice, two hits, both uh, counters. Nice, Sue will just pop this guy. Or Justin. Pretty easy, right? And that's how it's done. Was it, do I only need one fire level, Athena? Wait, so we're 47 into level 3. Burn Flame is level 4. Nice. Yes. So I need 10 knife. It's too agility. I don't even know if I want to bother doing the knife. Actually, do you know what? I'm not. I'll do the knife when I get on the. Uh, when I get further into the game. Okay. She stops getting knives at a certain point anyway. Like, they're kind of. Oh. Shit, I fell down. I'm paying attention. Um, she only learns two knife skills. And they're not really very good. Where the, where's the gap? Oh, it's around here. And, uh, like, she has three whip skills. Because, you know, women, whips, and stuff. She's uh, no Simon Belmont, anyway. How's that one? 26, 25, 28. That is fine. Everyone's kind of the same. There is a sword here, yeah. What? Admiral sword. So that is a big upgrade from the, uh, the wooden sword. flame before the boss. Wait, is that going to be a thing? 59. No, I don't think so. I can learn it while I'm fighting the boss. Which is kind of good, I guess. Kinda. 
Oh, it doesn't matter. Once you get to a certain point in the game, Fina's like fire skills just like skyrocket. Because she learns so many of them. And then you can pretty much just spam loads of different fire spells and just get tons of XP for it. Uh, what is this ghost? Shout? I don't think so. Plus, you need a spirit box to talk to ghosts. Now I'm really angry. Or uh, the old ghost rhyme book. I don't have any of them, so none of that, please. Oh no. He did it. Sue's getting wombo combo. Okay, they really don't like Sue. gonna go for it, I think. Let's do the big balls. Careful, I had a bad feeling, like a predator stalking its prey. What sort of big boss could be on a ghost ship? Fina, this is a ghost ship. How does it catch its prey? Justin, the prey is already here. Huh? Here? You mean us? Justin, look around carefully, or it could be fatal. Ah, huh? what's this? Looks like the ship's log. Maybe the log contains a clue to the mystery. Let's read it. The ship was finally caught by the tentacles of the beast. No choice but to make a final stand. Unless we kill the accursed monster, our voyage has no tomorrow. And then it ends here. Monster? What could that mean? Shh. Quiet. Something's here. Be careful. Holy shit, boys. It's a giant squid with a traffic cone for a head. Squid King. Uh, not really a hard boss, but just kind of annoying. It has like, uh, like tactics that it does, like it tries to draw you in and then swipes all of your party at the same time, which is kind of annoying to heal everyone at once. Like it's trying to do it right now. Now, this boss obviously is different to any boss that we've faced before, but this boss has multiple parts. Now, if I go straight for the head and kill it, obviously I win. But if I kill all the parts first, I'm going to net myself more XP because obviously I'm attacking them. So that's how I always play the game. I try to kill any sort of add and then I kill the final boss at the end. Um, what's that mean? Let's try and cancel the sucking. Now I'm really angry. I pressed the wrong button. That's fine. You can suck in, I don't really care. That's kind of what I'm worried about. It's the laser function. And it's gonna cast howl. Okay, so let's But this is like an example of why you would evade instead of defending because I could split my team up so certain moves aren't going to hit everyone at once. 
Luckily this one is not too bad, but there are some bosses that can fuck you up big time. Take this! I'm just gonna do a cheer just to keep above a certain amount of HP. Because that is a skill, so it also gives me weapon XP. There you go. Now your boy's gonna try and fuck me up. Let's cancel that. Athena uh, can also do it. There you go. He's gonna try again anyway, so. Okay, so he's healing. He's gonna do the suck in. I don't know why he's gonna suck in again. Shockwave is probably a little shit. <laughs> but I don't mind if he heals, because that just means more XP for me. more that I've just got to be careful not to die. Take this. Which can happen. Although, I don't think I've ever died on this boss. Well, there you go. Athena learned a new spell. Which is Brown Flame, which is very, very, very good. Well, I mean, it's not amazing, but it does the job. For this guy, you can only use it once in this fight because you don't have enough MP for your level 2 magic, but it's enough. So we'll be aight. Let's cancel this. Face left. Oh, flame burner. This should probably kill the one on the right. Luckily, wind magic doesn't do so much damage, it just has like lots of range. <laughs> Shit, Sue might die. I can't, I can't let anyone die. That just ain't good. 60 HP to party. Fuck okay, now, let's go. Suck in again. Why? Why is he continuously using suck in? I don't get it. Go! Face left. Now he's going to be kind of annoying because he's just going to try and spam laser eye all the time. But now, like, as the fight will go, if I spam criticals, it should be fine. He's going to get one of them off. But... Oh, there you go. Nice. I've got a cancel. Nice. I don't have any SP for that. It's just... It's like shit like this. You can kind of stay on top of things. You're going to get hit every now and then. But you can stay on top of stuff as long as you got people working on cancelling the boss. But yeah, we win. There you go. E C P C. Hundred fifty four XP and two thousand gilds deserved. Justin still has the lowest strength. It's great. Uh, so the men of the ship were all attacked by that monster. No doubt about it, it must have attacked the ship and preyed on the people. Yikes, what was that? 
Oh no, the ship's begun to sink. Justin, quick, we gotta escape. We're doomed if we go down with it. But you don't have to tell me twice. I don't wanna be here in the first place. Ah, oh, so it was locked from this side. Hmm. What's with this lock? It doesn't unlock. Let me try. There, it's unlocked. Let's go. Incredible. Fina can do anything. Can she though? I know it's going down, but I need to save. Exactly, yeah. There's no time to waste. Oh no, what do we do? The ship's sinking. Don't worry, leave it to me. Uh, first rate adventurer knows how to get out before getting in. Come quick, climb the rope. And it makes a really screechy noise. Maybe look what we did. We did this. I'm so glad everyone was worried. I was so glad you got back safely. Nothing to it. The ghost ship was easier than swabbing the decks. Heh, <laughs> gotta hand it to you. Oh yeah, I have news. They're gonna let me work on the ship. In the engine room. They're right in the middle of preparing the engine. How about that? Good for you. A giant squid stopped the ship. It was quite a beast. I told you from the beginning, there are no such things as ghosts. We literally, literally killed like 12 of them. 12 ghosts were on that ship around about, and we literally, you got hit by them. You also killed them. Well, can you kill ghosts? I don't know. Right, Captain? Uh, good job, Feeder. Now we can make it to the new world. I can really depend on you. And he's fixed his mustache. Nice. Oh, Kevin, not just me. You got to thank Justin and his friend, too. And his friend. Cucked. We defeated the ghost ship by the three of us working together, and then she literally calls it a ghost ship. After just denying that ghosts exist. Of course, you're quite right. I didn't imagine they could accomplish what they did. To tell the truth, I don't think so either. You were quite an adventurer. You get a perfect score on your first adventure. You look pretty good in there, Justin. Uh, not winky face, but heart emoji. Your boy is in. Um, well, thanks. This is sort of embarrassing. This isn't like you, Justin. Getting all red face like this. Heart emoji. Puffy, what are you saying? Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Cat, what are you doing? You're all laid all upside down. Stupid creature. Oinking for a toinking. <laughs> nice. I've never heard that one before. Uh, that was quite a deed you did. I see you in a whole new light. You weren't just posing as adventurous. You must be tired today, right? Once you've reported in, go ahead and turn in early. Uh, so yeah, you can just do this. There's no point to talking to anyone they don't really say anything they don't give you anything uh, it's mostly just to uh, visit the shop but there's no point because as soon as you get off the ship there's a shop with better equipment so but I usually don't buy weapons and armor unless I haven't picked up anything for a long time uh, Justin good morning let's go swap the deck isn't swapping the deck fun? Come on, off to the deck. Mm -hmm. 
So if it's Justin and Sue come to swap the decks, too bad, you're fired as sailors. You don't have to swap the decks. But fired? Why? What for? We were working so hard. Ha <laughs> ha What are those faces for? Just listen to me, okay? We've reached the new world. Alencia, this voyage is at its end. Huh? Ha 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 ha. Look, go up to the bow. You can see the new world. Fucking let's go. Justin, what's wrong? I can see it. There it is. Huh? Wait up, Justin. Incredible. Say, Justin, with that much space, you could do a lot of adventures. Puff, puff, puff. Ha ha ha, puffy. Don't worry, there's plenty of delicious food there, right, Justin? Say, are you listening, Justin? You who, Justin? Oh, I heard you, Sue. The new world. We're really here. I can't wait to find out what's out there for us, Justin. Good morning, Justin and Sue. Hi, Fina. Ah, new parm. It's been a while. You two, is this your first time to the new world? Welcome to New Palm, to Alencia, the continent of dreams and hopes. You two are very welcome. Heart emoji. Continent of dreams and hopes. I know your dreams will come true, Justin. Say, Justin, get ready to go ashore. Tell me when you're going ashore, I'll go with you. Ooh woo. <laughs> Yeah, we got some owoos and some oo-woos. Ah, uh, yes, I'm ready to go. Great, we're finally going to the land of New Parm. Look at that. Look at that. Big old drift from the ship. And then it just slides in nicely. <laughs> Beautiful. Yay, yippee. We did it, we're the first ones here. Wow, we really did it. We've come to the new land. You're right. Now I can finally start the great adventure I've been dreaming about. Oh, I can't wait. Ha ha. <laughs> you two are just too much. So what do you do next, huh, Justin? Uh, I'm going to the Adventures Society. I've got an intro letter from my mom. Oh, the Adventures Society? You mentioned that before. I guess this is where we say goodbye. Eh, aren't you coming with us, Fina? Sorry, but I have a reason. Uh, if you like, come see me at my house. Just take the road from New Palm and follow the Merrill Road. Okay, as soon as I get a chance, I'll be sure to visit. Goodbye, Fina. Oh no! What's the matter, Fina? Uh, I forgot something important. Justin, could you raise your hand like this? She is going to get ready for you. <laughs> yes, she is. Actually... <laughs> actually... Uh, well, you'll find out in a minute. Uh, what for? It's okay, just raise your hand. Come on, hurry. Hmm, just as I thought. Heart emoji. Well, here it goes. Fina? I get it. The adventure's greeting. Cool, isn't it, Justin? Hmm, Justin, you seem to have what it takes to be an adventurer. How about another adventure sometime? Well, time to say goodbye. May you have the protection of the spirits on your great adventure. And she's gone. 
Right, well, there's actually nothing to do here, so we're gonna get in. Uh, to town of New Palm. Now, uh, Aventress door. Going to get her warm salt. Yes, exactly. Just like that. Just like that. Personality ready. <laughs> exactly. Right. Uh, first of all, we're going to sell some of the shit that we got. Bananas, dynamite, herbs. Get the fuck out of there. Wooden pole and mittens. Nah, but we don't sell that. The mana egg. The mana egg is what you use to buy the magic in the game. And there are only limited mana eggs in the game. There are more than what you need, but they're obviously placed in certain places in the game, so you don't want to mistakenly sell one by accident. Don't do it. Uh, we'll send that as well. You can't sell the wooden sword because apparently it's a legendary treasure from the start of the game. So we have to stash that. The question is... Um, I can't remember what I said I was going to plan on, who I was going to buy magic for. I kind of want to avoid buying it for Sue, but at the same time, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to look up something because I did save something. Um, there is a thing about what I used to read that they say that there are some guides like what to give to your characters. I don't really follow the guide but I just like to read on why people do what they do. Um, what I usually do is either give Justin Earth because that offsets me not using the axe, but it also allows me to learn the earth, and you want earth from Justin, because later in the game, his fire and earth learns explosion, as you can tell on the screen, but that also ties into a lot of the moves that he learns. And then you're gonna get another mana egg pretty soon, which I usually give water to Fina, but obviously that doesn't mix with fire, so it's not great yet. But I could give water to Justin as well to make him learn forest and stuff. But then that's a lot of shit that I have to make Justin do while he's not attacking. But I want him to use his weapons. Um, I don't know. Do you know what? No, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give him gonna do it the way I usually do it. Uh, you give him earth or earth earth the th and don't don't type u t h or u r t h or e r t h either. Earth it's my lovely accent. Um, right. Yeah I'll give Justin Earth, which he will learn Diggin. And Diggin is a spell that will buff the defense of everyone in the party. But as you can tell, every level of Earth will give you plus one strength. So that will offset me not using an axe so much on Justin at the start of the game. But that also kind of means that at the moment, I'm primarily going to attack with Sue, but I will also buy this. Actually, am I going to buy it? Yes, I will. I will buy. No, I just want to buy it for Sue. But she does need some Mace XP because she's never used one. So she's eight at the moment. And she learns yeah, ten. Yeah, so I get to ten. 
then we learn the mace. This, this is usually how I do it. I think. Right. So, we gotta go to the Adventure Society, which is this crazy little little place right here. This crazy chick. Ah, welcome to the Adventure Society. What kind of adventure would you like? At the Adventure Society, we set up all kind of adventures to meet the needs of our dear customers. Set up adventures? I'm not sure what you mean. Damn you, Doug. Also, I said not to do that. Bad Doug. Well, anyway, we'd like to go to Alent and see the Angelo Civilization. Uh, Alent for the Angelo Civilization? Mm, I'm afraid we haven't prepared any tours for that area. But if you like, you can come see some ruins from Angelo. You can go to the Dome Ruins, south of New Palm. That's fine. We're sure to find something good if we go there. Uh, how do we get there? Uh, unfortunately, we found that the Dom Ruins tour is kind of dangerous, so we don't send tours there anymore. You don't go because it's dangerous. An adventure should be dangerous. Hmm. Sounds like you want to be an adventurer, is that right? Come on, is it right or not? Uh, then you need to be a member of the society. You need the president's okay. He's back there in the office. Uh, if we become members, will they guide us to the Dom Ruins? I'm afraid no one goes there now. Once you're a member, you get a map of Valencia and you can go on your own. Ah, there's a giant poster of Fina on the wall. Don't know why that is. Uh, to enter, you must say the password. Say it right or I won't let you in. Huh? The password? To enter, you must say the password. Say it right or I won't let you in. Ah, uh, password. Right, okay. Oh, one more thing. If he asks for a password, it's I'm Mr. Pacon's servant. A uh, yup, got it. Mr. Pacon? My mother's letter is addressed to a Mr. Gauss. It might be, Doug. It might be. We already had the strip club at the start. Look, there's even one here at the front as well. Uh, the president's office is back there. Please be honest and polite with the president, okay? Our emoji. To enter, you must say the password. Say it right, or I won't let you in. Uh, Pacon, the cutest guy in town. Yup. Uh, I'm Mr. Pacon's servant. A uh, yup. Or well, everyone admires Mr. Pacon. A uh, yup. Uh, well, it's this one. Ding dong. Okay, you can come in. A uh, yup. Yup. Uh, Pre-warning you, this guy is a little crazy. And uh, it looks like he has a blow-up doll in the background. And just lots of pictures of Fina. Uh, I'm Mr. Pacon, president of the Avengers Society. Uh, yup, yup. You need my help with something? Huh? You are the president? You must be joking. I thought the Avengers Society president was a Mr. Gauss. Uh, Gauss was my daddy. Uh, he died a long time ago. Now I'm the president. Uh, yup. Really? I mean, uh, so you are. Justin, don't forget to ask about joining. Right, well, since Mr. Gauss is dead, I have no choice but to deal with this bozo. Anyway, we'd, uh, we'd like to join the society. How do we do that? Our membership's already full. Uh, yup. You gotta get some adventurers to lend you their adventurers passes. Uh-huh. Now wait just a minute. Look here, I got a letter of introduction from my mother. My father was an adventurer. He knew Mr. Gauss. Hmm, so I see. So? You thought this piece of paper would get you an adventurer's pass? I'm the one who decides who gets to have a pass. Uh, yup, yup. Just toss that piece of garbage. I made up some new adventurer's passes when I became the president. Uh, yup. Clever, huh? What? What is this? It's got Fina's picture on the cover and this kitschy pink colour. Yeah, her picture looks horrible. Fina's on the cover because she's a cute babe. Yup, yup. Fina's also our number one adventurer. And she's my fiance. Yup, yup. We're a real lovey dovey couple and we're getting married soon. Uh huh. No kidding. But why would Fina want to marry some clown like you? What? Well, hey? That's rude. Now I'm never going to let you into my adventurous society. Don't act so big, dude. You're just my servant, uh, yup. What? What? Your servant? Since when did I become your servant? 
uh, since before you came in here, remember? You said, I'm Mr. Pacon's servant. Uh, yup, so there. Uh, yeah, but... I'm never gonna let rude people like you into my adventurous society. Now go home. Wow, looks like we hit a snag here. Forget the adventurous society. I can go on an adventure by myself. Get, get fucked, clown boy. Ah. <sighs> I didn't know the Avenger Society had a new president. But anyway, why would Fina get engaged to someone like him? What do you think, Sue? Mm, it's hard to understand, but I think Fina's got bad taste. Even so, we don't have other plans. Let's go see Fina at our house. I'm sure she'd at least lend us a map. To get there, we just leave uh, New Palm and take the Merrill Road. Come on, Justin, let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, also, let's take time to appreciate this amazing, amazing turtle-like creature. Isn't it beautiful? Wow, that's a huge creature. You really get a sense of how vast this new continent must be, huh, Sue? Look at this cock ass. Ah, another beautiful day outside. An auspicious day, too. A yup, yup. I'm so happy. A yup, 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 yup. Huh? It's you, Pacon. You're the one who just got me. Eh, you really think I look like Pacon? That's great. I'm so happy. I'm not Pacon, but I am eye Pacon so much that I always try to look and act like him. Cretin. Anyway. We're gonna run up this little path. Good XP up here. There's also a mana egg. So we got snake boys and chocobo like creatures so uh, all we're gonna do is I tell you what because I don't need to do it right now because this is kind of like a grindy spot so I don't really want to sit here and grind on the stream we have to come up and back here a few times so I will do that a bit later I will however do the earth spell XP. What I could do is set my tactics, put Justin on power up. So you can go to play fair. Set party tactics. Nope, that was the wrong button. How do you do it right? Tactics. Ah, single tactics, okay. Just are you defending? You're meant to be using buff up, you spaz. Power up. Power up and raise abilities of party. Yes. Oh, you're annoying. I'll just do it myself then. Oh, it's like I actually have to play the game. Come on. I want to do this. Ha! Jesus. Oh, do I'll just do. I'll rush to Phoenix House. It'll take me like less than five minutes. We'll get the mana egg. Uh, we'll get to the next bit of the story. And we'll uh, carry on from there. Horrible giant hissing spiders. Alright, where is the mana egg? So it's kind of hidden. Let's just grab that quick. Earrings. It's poison resistance, if I remember. Kind of hidden off the stairs. Uh, that's an ambush. See, one of the good things is that if you could push Earth to level three for Justin, he actually learns um, Tremor. Which is an earth damaging spell, which makes leveling your earth skills much better. So, once we get to the next part of the game, 
have to be in this house. It's really useful because you can fight big groups of enemies. Uh, there are slimes that split. And obviously when there's more enemies on the screen, you get more XP. I think I might teach Justin the War skills. Or I could just save. It's, it's these things. I'm planning too far ahead in the game. Which I don't need to do, really. It just depends on when I'm, like, grinding, I guess. I'm going to grab this egg, go back to town. And we'll just try and, like, get it out of the way. I suppose I could give Justin fire now. Because then I can run boom. And I will just wreck everything. Yeah, do not last one. I'll do that. Because you do find another mana egg in the sewer. And you find one in the road after you do this next bit. Hashtag no spoilers. Shit, they're using digging as well? I don't think so. But I gotta get there, like, because I wanna see Fina's soft, warm personality. These little worm things are cucking me right now. Yeah, I'm gonna do this next little bit and then I'm probably gonna stop streaming. But I am probably going to play some WoW. So I don't know, Douglas or Yana or anyone who plays WoW, are you doing any mythics tonight? Or like, I don't know, anything. Full gas, shit like that. Because I gotta get it done. to do a lot of damage. They do the back kick thing to you. It's pretty bad. Especially if you get like wombo combo. There we go. Learn W break. It's basically V slash, right, but won. a crit version. Alright, so what are we doing with. What are we? 6, 5, and 1. Now, if I get my mace one more level. Or if I push it to 10. And then we just go full axe up to 12. That should be pretty good. It's going to take a little while though, because I'm not going to be attacking so much because I'm using magic, but it all will tie in at the end. Oh yeah, he's got a massive fucking flail in his hand. Well, it's not a flail, but. It's a big boy.
can't get me. I'm speedy. Alright, let's go back to Parm. Um, where is it? This one? Alright, we'll learn Fire or Justin. There you go, so it's gonna take a lot of time, like keeping them up, but we're able to level them both together. And at least now, if I go into my moves, you see, like, I got lots more options here. So when I get to seven and six, I can learn boom, which is very, very strong, but also allows me to get both earth and fire XP. So that. It's going to be a struggle to get there, but once I get to it, it will uh, it will pan out better in the end. So let's just fucking go for this. Like I say, I'm not uh, playing this to like collect every item and stuff. Like you don't need them. Every time I do play, I do it anyway. But, um, I know that most of the items, I know what most of them do. It's just like a, a memory thing. But everything here, like the most valuable item here is the mana egg and the earrings. Uh, the earrings I never use, they're just poison resist. And I don't care about that shit. Alright, Doug, this is what we were talking about. You were saying that she's going to get ready? Get ready for us? Well. Hmm. So this is Fina's house, huh? Looks like a really well-built house. I wonder if she built it herself. Cool, this furniture looks like it was handmade by Fina. I'd like her to show me around. So you can't really do anything here. There's nothing that really stands out. Well, there is. But uh, you wouldn't know about it unless you were really focusing. But um. You know, you're, you're walking around, it's a nice little chill house being has got going in. But then there's this thing here. Oh, look, look, Justin. Oh, how cute. I'd like to have one of those. So, dog around touching stuff. Fina might get mad at you. Hmm, these are, uh, panties. So she was, she was presenting. She was like, oh shit, Justin's come around. Let me put my nice panties out. Oh, Justin and Sue, you've come to visit. You know, Justin's just standing there with his fucking her pants in his hand. Uh, I'm so glad you came, and so soon too. Uh, what well, I I mean, it's just that well, Sue. Hi, Fina. Justin, what have you got in your hand? Oh, Justin, what are you doing? Those are mine. Oh dear, I usually don't leave this place in such a mess. No, I, uh, it's fine, Fina, really. What's wrong with you two? You're both blushing. I was just showing him something, that's all. Yes, she was. Well, hey, are either of you hungry? Let's have something to eat. Hmm, that was delicious. I hadn't expected you to be such an accomplished cook. This mint tea is really good. It seems like Fina can do everything. Yeah, but Fina, you're living here all by yourself, right? Don't you get lonely sometimes? Ah, uh, I guess so, but I wouldn't ever be lonely if you lived here too, Justin. Oh, still, um, okay, I guess so. Shall we move in with Fina? Uh, me? I got adventures. I don't know, she seems pretty keen. Aha, just kidding, just kidding. Justin, you thought I was serious. No, I mean, heck, I thought you were probably joking. Hehe, <laughs> still, I liked your answer. Well, anyway, Justin, was there something else you wanted to ask? So what is it you wanted? Um, are you engaged to Pakon? That reminds me, President Pakon said something really weird. He said you and he are engaged. No, really? Engaged? Ugh. That's Pakon for you, spreading nonsense like that. No matter what I said, Pakon just wouldn't listen to me. What a nuisance. That's why I came here right away. I didn't want to run into Pakon. I really wanted to show you around. 
Aha, now I understand. I thought that was kind of strange. Now we get it, huh, Justin? So, Justin, is this all you wanted to ask? Uh, I need to borrow your map. Uh, I want to go to the Dom Bruins. Would it be okay if I borrowed your map? Didn't you join the Adventure Society? They should give you an adventurous map when you join. Join the Adventure Society? Never. That dude is no adventurer. He's just a lousy tour guide. That president is a blabbering idiot. How do a fool like him get to be president of the Adventure Society? You know, you're different, right? You're a real adventurer. Still, I'm at a loss. The Adventure Society rules say I'm not supposed to lend the Adventure's map to non-members. Also, if I lend my map to you, Justin, I can't continue with my own work. So, Justin, is that all you wanted to ask? Uh, come on an adventure. Fina, why don't you come adventuring with us to search for the legendary Angelo? You said it was the salt ruins on the continent of Messina, right? It would be incredible if the ancient ruins really did work. They do work. They do, Fina. A girl named Liette told me so. She told us to head for a lens. Really? Is it true? Then the spirit stone is real. I thought Justin was dr dr Drashton. I thought Justin was dreaming. Well, that's great. That is quite a discovery. Anyway, I'm sure some secrets of the Angelo are hidden of the Dolmens. So come with us and find them, Fina. Thank you for inviting me, Justin. But I just can't, I'm afraid. The Adventure Society rules say I'm not allowed to go there. Really? Fina, all I hear from you is rules of rules. Should there be any places anywhere where adventurers can't go? Justin, don't confuse pros with amateurs. Pros must follow the rules. That's the way it is for us pros. If an adventurer breaks the rules, his pass gets taken away and he's out. Justin, you must understand how hard it would be for an adventurer to be unable to go on adventures. So I need to hold on to this pass. That's where you're wrong. No adventures without a pass, no choice of destination without an okay, what kind of adventure is that? No one decides where the wind blows, only the wind can determine that. A true adventurer is like the wind. Why are you so quiet now, Fina? You're not like those nerds in the Adventure Society, are you, Fina? No, but... Huh? What's that music? My dearest Fida, I've come for you, a yup yup. I heard someone say a yup. Justin, that voice. Wait here, Justin, I'll take a look outside. Yeah. This is why I need Doug to do his nice little voices for me. Justin, that was Fina. Hmm. Let's save, and we'll see what's going on. Actually, no, I'll tell you what. I'm going to save it, and we're going to stop it here. The next part of the story will happen in another stream. It might not be next stream. In fact, no, next stream tomorrow will be a Smash Bros stream. And there's a specific reason why. But uh, you'll see tomorrow if you turn up. So. Anyway, today was a super long stream. We had three hours and 15 minutes. Oh, I'm super hungry. <laughs> um, yeah, it was good. Uh, we had a raid today from Cyanergy XD. Uh, I appreciate that. I'm going to go check out his channel after this. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't have much to say. Thank you guys for being here today. And I'll see you next time. So... Take it easy and